I am the Vice President of Business Development at Hedrick Associates. We're a manufacturer's rep. We're based out of West Michigan. One of the big challenges is just analyzing uh, or trying to figure out where our customers' pain points are, and that requires a lot of relationship building. And one of the things that's been very intriguing to us is indoor air quality. Well, air quality has always been like a talk between us and our clients as well. Being able to measure it has been an awesome conversation because usually it's just, hey, your air quality is might be bad or how do we fix it or how do we see it. So we really wanted to find ways in which we could analyze or get real data. Well here things introduced itself as a valuable product to us and we saw a good fit of being a great benefit to our customers even by showing them a way of monitoring indoor air quality. And then on the back end also have a way in which we could help uh, correct the problems. AirThings provides a low cost, easy installation product for our customers. Having the AirThings um, dashboard and all the data is a validation, I believe, for, let's just call it the facility managers. Validation is important. We've invested in a technology to do something. How do we validate it, it did something? So A, we're monitoring and getting your results up front to let you know you may have a problem. And B, we're showing you that if we did take corrective measures, look what it's done. I can trend this over time. I can validate my efforts. AirThings is constantly updating their equipment. If there's any software updates, they are automatically updating through their, their web-based cloud. And they can easily see it. They can easily relay it to other people in the organization. You've seen what happens with water quality, right? Uh, there's a perception that when people turn the faucet on, that's healthy water. We found over time that's not true. I mean, all the Brita filters, the RO water, all these types of things we have now in buildings and our homes, we're very sensitive to our water quality. That's not yet trickled over to air quality yet. I mean, people still think you open a window and that's fresh air. Just because you're bringing in fresh air doesn't mean it's clean, right? I mean, you just, you could hook it up to right outside where a bunch of diesel trucks are sitting and for all you know, you're getting clean air, right? Our office is in a uh, rural area, I'd say, and we still have high VOCs. And if you look at our air things, you see it trending every workday. It'll spike to the levels in the red because there's VOCs or pollutants outside. At the same time, your building is occupied. That's when you're supposed to be bringing in outside air. So, so what do you do? You know, fresh air is important. Maybe it's fresher just to close the damper that's feeding the fresh air and just rebreathe the, the air that you're already breathing. Some owners may be like, wow, I'm kind of scared to know this data. What am I going to do? Check your solutions and be aware of air quality. Don't be afraid of putting this in and finding out what you've got going on. Just be prepared to do something about it. Be, just be invested in it.